Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, show you guys some software I stumbled upon googling how to make uh, some 2D profiles for like hot wire foam cutting a wing. And so uh, when I, I searched it, I found this website rcsore.com and uh, they allow you to come down here and download this for free. It's a uh, profile 2.2. And uh, before we actually get into that, I'm going to also direct you to download uh, a zip file containing uh, like about a hundred or more airfoils. Um, so what you want to do is Google airfoil database and then uh, click on the UIUC data site. Then from there you're going to go into archives and uh, select this zip format and then zip it to like a folder that you know where to locate it later. Um, all right, so now that you have both of those uh, programs, uh, you're going to open profile. And then, so this is the program right here. Um, I'm going to click off the metrics, and yeah, we can start from here. So, under section, you're going to choose what airfoil you want to use. And then uh, you're going to navigate over to your airfoil archive that you just downloaded. And make sure you switch the file type into dat file, dot dat. And that will populate with all the, the files you just downloaded. Uh, so let's do, it doesn't really matter. We can pick an Epler. Uh, let's pick this one. Cool. All right. Um, so there's a uh, several buttons up here that you can toggle on and off. Um, and as you do that, it'll uh, show or hide different things of the program. So um, what I found is the top and bottom sheetings are the um, outline of the actual airfoil itself. The other parts are like the, the cores. So um, the sheeting is the actual uh, outside outline of the airfoil. So I'm pretty sure this is what I would be looking for if I was going to like hot wire something out. Uh, you can also put in um, other like little little markers uh, to determine you know the different locations. Uh, let's say you're doing a uh, a straight wing instead of a sweep a swept wing or anything like that. Um, so if you have a template on either side of the wing, um, you can make sure that at each side of your little hot wire bow that they're meeting at the same point along uh, the airfoil as you're cutting. Uh, this will allow you to keep a, a uniform and a, um, unwavy uh, finish on your foam. Um, so let's say uh, next you want to make sure the quarter is the right size so we'll bump it up to eight inches uh... this blue outline box here is representing of the foam block that you could be using um, it's just kind of a a uh, uh... another tool to to use just to make sure you're actually um, picking a reasonable airfoil and things like that and it also shows you how you can be using um, the foam block so, under layout, you can even change this thickness here. Right now, it's set up to two, and then it just does that. You can also go and let's say you have three-inch foam block. It's going to update it accordingly, whatever thickness of foam you're using. Um, so that's basics of this program. I literally just downloaded it about ten minutes ago. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys the, the features that I've been able to find so far. Um, I know there's obviously a lot more going on in here, but uh, uh, I'll leave that for you guys to kind of experiment and play with. So uh, the last and uh, really nice thing about this is that you can actually print this out on a one-to-one -one scale, so you can use it as your, your hot wire template. Um, before you do that, um, you're going to want to make sure you're in landscape mode. So go into print setup and change it to landscape. Then you can do a print preview. And now you can see this is actually printing out 
um, at a one-to-one -one scale on your piece of paper and it's not getting cut off because you are now in landscape mode. So uh, let's say you also had a chord that was, let's do 15 inch chord. Okay, so that's scaled up perfectly. And now when we do our print preview, it's getting cut off. So there's a little two page section up here and it kind of shows you how you would uh, end up joining these two templates. I'm assuming that these little plus marks uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, it'd be kind of neat if these two plus marks, when you line those up, that was the actual um, airfoil connections. But I honestly don't know. Um, I'm thinking it might work that way, though, just by looking at it. So, anyways, you can uh, uh, print out whatever size airfoil you need and um, use it as your template. So. Hopefully this is helpful. I'll uh, definitely be posting the two links that I used. Uh, this is the little profile from rcsore.com. So, all right, guys. Uh, happy flying, and hope this helps. Thanks. See ya.